Hello friends, I'm Kimberly Boschman and this is the Intentionally Intuitive Podcast. In this episode, we're going to look at the November 2020 energy forecast for life path number one. So ones, this is a, November is a universal six energy month. And so some words to keep in mind for this month are community, unity, love, family, health, service, and compassion. So I feel like home and family could be in the spotlight for us this, uh, for the collective for November. One thing to keep in mind when it comes to six energy is be sure to set healthy boundaries. (laughs) So in other words, it's okay to say no. So this energy, six energy is a very loving, nurturing energy. And when it's in its sort of, when it's in an extreme, it can at times be a little smothering. And so again, if you find yourself falling into that extreme where you're trying to people please or just overextending yourself in giving, then this is an opportunity to practice setting those healthy boundaries and saying no when it when it's again when it's affecting your um your emotional stability and you feel like you've just spread yourself too thin then it's okay to say no and it's okay to say no before you get to that point so just keep that in mind because again often when we have this six energy then the spotlight is on home family um community and oftentimes we find ourselves being pulled to be in service to others or of others, right? And so again, it's just, you know, just be mindful of that and just be aware of the importance of being able to say no and being okay with that. Um, Also, be mindful of the difference between being helpful to somebody and interfering with somebody's situation, right? So again, that six energy could come in and you just may want to just do, do, do for everybody. Um, And sometimes that can lead to interfering with another person's life or situation when they didn't actually ask for help. And so be mindful of how you approach helping others, okay? Be there, be supportive, offer your services and all of that. But again, respect when they say no. Okay, and so just keep that, you know, just keep that in the back of your head in case anything comes up for you this month where you could potentially overstep, you know, their boundaries. So um, now when six is when the six energy is in its highest expression, this energy recognizes the sense of responsibility we all have for our own well-being as well as the well-being of others. And so you may see it come up collectively where there's this push to unite there's this push to find sense of community and to be with friends family um and feel that love and be open to love and be you know open to giving love and so there's just this really compassionate energy that flows with the six energy and it can be really really beautiful It can also at times, though, as I mentioned, be a little suffocating and it can sort of move quickly into the like interference mode. So just be mindful of how you're approaching, um, you know, how you're showing up for others, how you're showing up for yourself. Again, healthy boundaries. And, you know, if you can stay in your own equilibrium, then um, this month should feel pretty good for you. And so at the beginning of the month for ones, we have some kind of like, it feels like an emotional offer coming in, something that um, it could be somebody coming to you and offering you support, which is interesting because for ones, you guys sometimes have some difficulty receiving, especially when it has to do with anything that... that um, may be pride driven. So if it has to do with money or um, material goods or something like that, sometimes ones can, because you're so driven, it can be difficult for you to receive help. And so there's this offer, it feels like coming in for you, 
for somebody to um, help you, okay? And so you need to be open to receiving that or work on being open to receiving that. Um, Because again, it's not often that ones will accept help graciously. And I feel like there's an opportunity coming in at the beginning of the month for you to do that. And that could just be also emotionally because ones sometimes also do have difficulties. I mean, humans do, but ones also have difficulty at times receiving emotional support and so and really being open to that and so I feel like you could have an opportunity for to do that or you may find yourself in a, in a position where you need to ask somebody else for support or emotional support and help and that's really really important because again this is a call ones for you to sort of Drop that pride and humble yourself and understand, again, going back to that six energy of nurturing self um, as well as others. And nurturing self is key because you can't nurture others if you're not nurtured. And so beginning of the month, I feel like you're going to have an opportunity to, again, really receive um, some kind of emotional support. And it could also be financial support, but it does feel emotionally driven. So just be on the, the lookout for that. Um, and where I, ta- I said before about that six energy and not being afraid to say no, at the beginning of the month, ones are being asked to, you know, not be afraid to say yes to receiving. As we move into the second week of uh, November, we have this energy again of family, community, unity, um, just coming together in love and joy. And so if you have an opportunity to um connect with those that you love whether that's whether that has to be virtually or if it's in person then really take the time you know block your schedule I know ones can be workaholics at times really block your schedule and allow yourself to just fully dive in and immerse yourself in this ooey gooey love fest (laughs) Um, it feels very very supportive it feels really joyful um, very, very happy. And so again, and it could be stemming from that re- that support that you received at the beginning of the, the month. And so however it comes in for you, the call is just to allow yourself to enjoy it and embrace it. So really, really beautiful energy coming in the second week. And it also could be a call for you to step in in a situation to help um, bring unity about the situation, right? So if there's some kind of divisiveness happening, then ones you may have an opportunity the second week of November to be the one who steps in to bring people together, right? So however this comes in, but it does feel very, very loving. It feels very, very supported, um, is supportive. And just, yeah, community coming together, love, all that yummy, yummy goodness, right? So really, really enjoy that. Really embrace it. And if you have the opportunity to be the one who steps up and unites others, then wonderful, because that's a beautiful energy for ones. You guys are the visionaries, the leaders. And so you may find yourself in a leader role, bringing others together. So then we move into the third week of November, and we have this energy of um, really, I feel like recognition. So it's almost like it's almost like where you may have needed some kind of support at the beginning of the month, you really have this, this sense of recognition coming in. And, you know, it's almost like feels like an epiphany or like an aha moment for you. So like a recognition of the support and the love and all of, you know, all of that that you have around you that maybe you weren't clearly seeing before. So it's like all of a sudden you're able to clearly see the people who support you, the people who are in your corner, um, the situations that are most beneficial for you to thrive. And so, which is beautiful because it's like it's giving you an opportunity to not only be grateful for those people, but to utilize their resources, right? So again, where it's so difficult for ones to ask for help sometimes, this is an opportunity for you to clearly see who's in your corner, who's supporting you, who is who is the nurturing caregiver for you. 
And, you know, how can you reciprocate that as well as, you know, receive that energy? And so this feel, again, November for once is very, very beautiful and very loving and supportive. Where it might be difficult for you is in the receiving piece, right? And so in the opening up to receiving and allowing the love to flow in and flow out, right? So again, third week just feels again like that recognition, really being able to clearly see who's there for you, who is in your corner, who you can lean on for support. And as we move into the fourth week of November, it's interesting because you're back to this energy of needing to recognize that you don't need to do it all alone. Whatever it is that you're struggling with, whatever it is that, you know, you are up against, it's really, really important to understand that you are not necessarily meant to do it on your own. Yes, the shadow work, the work within, we have to do that ourselves, right? But there are resources around us that will help get us through that. And for ones, again, it's really difficult for you at times to ask for that help and ask for that assistance and openly receive it without feeling the need to reciprocate. And so you may find at the end of the month, you've had this opportunity to recognize your support system, right? Your support team, who's in your corner. And so at the end of the month, you have a decision to make whether you will, again, utilize that support or whether you're going to continue to be stubborn and move forward on your own. And so really take some time to go within at this time and see, you know, where are you struggling? Where are you having difficulty? And who could potentially be there who could help you with that, right? And to be a support team for you. And are you going to utilize that resource to make your journey that much more comfortable and to sort of accelerate the, the you know, um, moving forward? Or are you going to continue to, to be stubborn and struggle and try to do this on your own? And again, one is that energy of the individual, right? That, that almost, almost similar to like an Aries energy um, from the Zodiac. So it's like you, you're very, um, I say self-centered, but in a loving way, because you're very, um, it is about self. And sometimes the shadow side of that is you get really deep into not allowing other people in and feeling as though you need to do it all, all by yourself. And there's this almost sense of martyrdom when it comes to one energy when you're in your shadow. And so, again, the end of the month, there's just this opportunity. It's like in November, the universe is shining a, a light on your support team, the people who are there for you, who want to help you, who would jump at you know a dime if you said that you needed something. And at the end of the month, this is your opportunity to, again, go within, see where you need some assistance, and then ask for it, and then receive it openly. And so where November feels really loving and joyful for, you know, there's a lot of beautiful, beautiful energy this month for ones. It's also really sort of centered around you openly receiving love, affection, um, assistance, that sort of thing. And so and releasing the pride, releasing any shame, releasing any judgment that you may have on yourself for needing to ask for help and just allowing your support team to come in and do this for you. Because remember, others receive, you know, others have joy when they can do for other people, right? That's that's a part of compassion. That's a part of community. And so it's not always about us doing for others it's also about allowing others to do for us it's a very it's a cycle it's a beautiful cycle when we when it's very open and, and flowing and so the call is ones to allow that beautiful receiving energy to flow you have so many people in your corner who are here to assist you you just have to say yes to that assistance and allow that energy to come in. You also have the power to say, no, thank you. I don't need that assistance at this time. But I would say first go within and make sure that you don't need that assistance and you're not just blocking it because of pride or whatever. But if you truly do feel like it's something you need to work on on your own and you don't want necessarily that interference from others, 
it's okay to say no. It's okay to set those healthy boundaries as well. Um, so if you have anybody that's sort of interfering in your life, you also have that power ones to let them know, thank you, but no thank you. So it's, it's a two-way street and it's very, it's almost like a dance. So again, it's like allowing and receiving for the help to come in, but also recognizing when you've got this and you really don't need that assistance or that interference and you want to tackle it on your own. So again, it's all about the balance um, and finding what works for you. So I pulled an animal spirit card for ones uh, for November, sort of as like the overall uh, energy. And it's very interesting because you guys got snow leopard and snow leopard says, take some time out of your usual life and spend it in solitude, which is very, very interesting. And what the energy that I get from that is very much what we we're speaking about um, or speaking to for November for ones, which is, again, it's about, you know, going within and really being honest with yourself to what, you know, where you need some assistance, where you need to ask for help, you know, not where you're, where you're trying to do it all by yourself. And it's just insurmountable. It's just almost, it's too much of a challenge and, and being okay with asking for that assistance and asking for that help, help, but then also recognizing your own power for when it comes to the things that you know within that you can overcome or that you're meant to overcome on your own and respecting that as well and setting those healthy boundaries. So again, it's this healthy, you know, this, this, this beautiful dance of finding balance. Um, and so that I feel like is where you're going to find your most upper, you know, the most sort of, I hate to word the, use the word challenges this month, but I think that's where you're going to see things come in for you this month is around giving and receiving and mostly receiving, right? So again, it's going to be like, where do I need to set my boundaries? Where are people interfering too much? And then where am I not asking for assistance where I could pop, where I could ask for assistance and lighten the load? Okay. So really, really powerful energies this month. Ones, again, it comes back to you. The joy, the love, the compassion, all of that stuff is are, you know, surrounding you this month. It's very, very beautiful energy, but it comes back to it's in the ball is in your court ones. You have to be open to receiving it. You have to be open to allowing that love to flow into you and allowing those resources and that support to flow into you. Okay. And not feeling that shame or that guilt or that, you know, burden of responsibility to do this on your own. All right. So I hope that it's a beautiful November for you ones. This was a general reading. If you would like a personal reading where we can look at your actual personal energies and see what's coming in for you, I would love to work with you. Go ahead and book some time with me in the description box below. You'll see the link for my website and I look forward to uh, working with you. Happy November, everyone, and I will see you again soon. Take care. Bye for now.